Hello my friends. This book is called My Monster and Me and it's written by Nadia Hussein with pictures by Ella Bailey. It's a reassuring story about sharing worries. This is my monster and this is me. I've always known my monster. It's always been there. It knows all about me. Maybe my monster arrived when I did. Maybe it moved in when I learnt to walk and talk. I don't remember. It was always big. When it stood in front of me, I could see nothing but its huge tummy. At night, when I lay in bed, I could hear nothing but its ginormous, growly snore. I wanted Mum to take it away, but when Mum was there, my monster hid. I wished my brother could take it away, but my monster hid again. I wanted Dad to take it away, but it hid from him too. My monster got bossier. It started telling me what to do when I was getting dressed and brushing my teeth. When I wanted to play with my toys, it sat on me. It even made me stay indoors when my friends came to play. I wanted to go out and join them, but my monster stood in the way and wouldn't budge. One day, my monster was waiting for me after school. It was gigantic and it was in a bad mood. I tried to lose it, but I couldn't. It followed me all the way to Gran's house. Gran asked me what was wrong. In the end, I told her how my monster just wouldn't go away. It wouldn't leave me alone, ever. Gran listened quietly. And suddenly, my monster stopped what it was doing and listened too. It seemed to me that as I talked, my monster got smaller and smaller and smaller and then I knew that I could make my monster go away. The next day I saw my monster at school. It looked a bit lost so I picked it up and put it in my pocket. I stroked its fur and it went to sleep. It wasn't as scary anymore. I don't worry so much about my monster these days. I go to school and play with my friends. My monster likes my pocket and I feel okay knowing it's there. But if it ever feels like getting out, I tell it to behave. My monster is part of me. We've known each other from the beginning. This is me. And this is my monster. <laughs> I wonder if you ever feel that you have a monster and maybe 
you could find someone to talk to about the things that are bothering you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.